Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'll show you how to make some fun Halloween graphics in InDesign. Here in my file, I have a few vector jack-o'-lanterns that I downloaded from Adobe Stock. And what I'd like to do is make them look like they're glowing from the inside. To do that, I'm going to fill all the shapes for the eyes, nose, and mouth for each jack-o'-lantern with a gradient. And I've already made a gradient swatch for this that I can see right here. And if I right-click on it and choose Swatch Options, you can see that this is a radial gradient that goes from yellow on one side to orange on the other. And each one of these pumpkins is a compound path. So to color the face parts differently, I need to make each face into a compound path that's separate from the overall pumpkin shapes. Now to do that, I'll select one with the selection tool here and choose Object, Path, Release Compound Path. I'll shift click on the pumpkin shape to deselect it and then make a new compound path from just the face parts by choosing Object, Paths, Make Compound Path. And I'll set the fill to my gradient swatch, and then repeat the process. This time I'll use keyboard shortcuts. So I'll select this pumpkin, and I'll choose Command Shift Option 8 to release the compound path. Shift click to deselect the pumpkin, and then Command 8 to make a new compound path and fill it with the glow. And I'll do the same for the last one here. Command Shift Option 8, Shift Click, Command 8, and fill it with the glow. Now I can adjust the looks of the glows by dragging with the gradient tool to change the location of the start and end points. So I'll take the gradient tool and click and drag. I'll just drag up and hold the Shift key to drag perfectly vertical, and do the same for the other faces here. And that's not bad. Now to take it up another notch, I'll add some glows around the jack-o'-lanterns. So I'll take the Selection tool and Shift-click to select each one, and in the Effects panel, I'll double click on the object level to open the dialog box. And here I can pick an effect like outer glow. I'll choose my orange color. And I'll make the size a lot larger, like 60 pixels. And I'll increase the spread to 10%. The spread value is how much of the overall size of the glow is opaque before it starts fading out. So for example, if I made it 100%, you can see that the glow doesn't fade out at all. I'll turn that back down to 10% and click OK. And now this glow would be even more effective if I put it on a dark background. So I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll create a rectangle, make it the overall page size here, and I'll fill it with black and send it to the back. And you can experiment with other settings to tweak this look. I'll select my jack-o'-lanterns again, and double-click in the Effects panel to reopen the dialog, and change the glow color to green, and maybe add a little bit of noise here. And there's our spooky jack-o'-lanterns made with compound paths, a radial gradient, and the outer glow effect. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.